entrance antiphon. With boldness, let us approach the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace as a timely help. Hallelujah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that there were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he spoke this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say there is no resurrection, or angels, or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit of an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and to take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood before him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. 
Keep me, O God, in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep, Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my friend. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delight at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you have loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is more and more apparent that any unity of Christians that is to be realized will have to coexist with differences in the way we worship, the way we are organized, and even in beliefs. Ideals of uniformity for all Christians stem from a much later period than the New Testament, which knew much diversity. Christians can be united to God without sharing every practice, law, and dogma of every church. There is unity of which Jesus speaks in his great prayer for unity, which is like that between him 
and the Father. In this unity, believers become one because of their union by faith with the Father and Jesus. We become one by reason of Jesus living in us and the Father living in him. This is a unity with God the Father and Jesus Christ, which is different from organizational unity. Ultimate unity of Christians will have to be based on this union with Father and Son in the Spirit. And this unity will accept differences, even disagreements, and a host of matters. Jesus is saying in today's Gospel that joined to him we are also being indwelt by the Father and are all one in the Father and him. That is more important than whether we use a particular formula in our services, have church government, or celebrate Easter on different dates. We are one. We, the people of God, are one body. There is one baptism, one gospel of Jesus Christ, one spirit that binds us together as one. We have one Lord, one church, one Eucharist whom we share. We are one in the Lord. Yes, there are differences among us, different ways we go about living out the faith. We may appear differently, pray differently, dress differently, have different vocations within this one body of Christ. But differences ought not to separate us. I repeat, differences need not separate. What are the spiritual exercises we can partake in to bring us unity? Stronger sense of prayer, study of the scriptures, partaking in the Eucharist, these are means which leads us to unity in Christ. It pains me greatly, and I exaggerate not in saying so, when someone comes up to me and says, I am leaving the faith. I no longer want to be a member of the church. I am separating myself from all of that. Great pain. My immediate thought always is, stay. We need you with us. Remain with the body of Christ, united in the Holy Spirit, united by baptism. St. John has left us a wonderful gift in his recording of Jesus' lengthy prayer to the Father on the night before his Passion, when repeatedly he prays that his church remain united, as he is united to the Father and the Father to him. He prayed that the church remain one in the bond of the Holy Spirit, just as the Blessed Trinity is one. Jesus reminds us that the separation from the body of Christ is the result of the evil one, the devil, who always tries to deceive us into separating ourselves from the body by being complacent with sin. Jesus tells us that the truth consecrates us and lies separate um, from us. Truth comes from the Father, lies from the devil. Truth unites, lies separate. 
My friends, we are one. We are one body. We are one needed and wanted in that one body, which is the Church. Never let differences separate us. Never. Amen. As members of God's family, let us confidently present our needs to Him. For all members of the Church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen us in our efforts to spread the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the rulers of nations and people, may the Spirit of peace Guide their hearts and their actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, needy, and lost everywhere, may God's love bring them healing and comfort, and may He in His mercy provide for their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, May the love of the Father and the Son bring us to perfection as one. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithfully departed, and especially for Mary and Fred Toulouse, the intention of this Mass. May Christ sing, soon bring them into the fullness of his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions. And for all the intentions appearing in our parish book of intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the people of India so severely afflicted by this pandemic right now and for all those who suffer this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers we bring before you today, confident in your love and care for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Lord. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice and your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, in my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. For the grace of the Lord in his name, for our Lord and for all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you, 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up in the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right. right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he may make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy glory to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those 
called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul. The communion antiphon. I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go. For if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us, God. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast us to hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world. Seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And enjoy this beautiful day. Good night.